Hey guys, welcome to the garden. Tonight we are sifting our worm castings um, out and putting those on the garden. But before we get started with that, I wanted to remind you about our seed swap going on now through November 15th. You have until November 15th to get me your seeds. Um, the address is down below. Um, Send me whatever seed you want to swap, a list of what you'd like to receive back, and a self-addressed stamped envelope to me. I will get them all swapped and then mail them back out near the end of November. Um, so you still have plenty of time to get your seeds to me. I have gotten a few entries so far and I am so excited to just swap seeds with everybody. This is going to be super fun. but. Now on to the main event. We are uh, sifting our worm castings. So the worms have been in the bucket since like July, I think. So it's been like th four months or so. And to be honest, I've been very lazy about this. Um, I could have sifted this a long time ago and gotten quite a bit of castings out, but I just have not done it. I have been feeding them and keeping them, you know, in the temperature where they need to be. Um, but I just haven't sifted the castings out and used them yet. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Um, I did make this sifter. I just used some extra one by fours that we had left over from when we built the garden gates and some hardware cloth. So I just built this frame and then stapled the hardware cloth to the frame. Um, and this is what we're gonna use to sift out the worms because I want to keep my worms. I don't wanna buy new worms. Um, I wanna keep the worms, put them back in the bucket and then restart the bucket. Now, if you wanted to, you could just take your bucket of worms and castings and just throw it in your garden um, and that would be totally fine. The worms would help your garden as well, but I am going to keep making worm castings. So we are going to put them back in their bucket home after we sift the castings out. So what I have here with me today is many things. So I have a bucket here with some cocoa core that I rehydrated and a couple scoops of my compost that I make uh, back in the corner of the garden. It's very wet and I did that on purpose so that way the worms would have enough moisture. Um, this is what we're going to use to get the bucket going. I also have here a little container of browns including some of this packing material that I got in a box um, and some shredded paper. So this is going to be serving as our browns, which will help absorb some of the liquid. We're gonna rip this up, I think. And then I also have out here with me a paper bag and a little piece of cardboard. So this is what we're gonna layer on the bottom of the bucket because I noticed over the last couple weeks, I've been trying to shoot this video for like two weeks and every day I go to shoot it, it's either too windy or it's raining or I don't have time or something else comes up and I just don't get it shot. But I have noticed over the last couple weeks, and I don't know how long it's been like this, um, that the worms have been getting into the bottom bucket from the top bucket. Um, when I originally started this worm bucket, I did put paper in the bottom of it, but Obviously that paper has uh, disintegrated, been composted. Um, so the worms are in the bottom bucket of my two bucket system. If you wanna see how I started this originally, I'll put a link to that video in the corner up here. Um, it was very easy. I used a guide from Hey It's a Good Life, um, but I'm super happy with how the bucket has been doing. I like how small it is. I've been keeping it in the garage. We have a vent in our garage, like a heat vent or an air vent or whatever. Um, and so I, because it has been getting cooler here, 
on the nights that it's cold and actually just like whenever I've been keeping this by the vent in our garage um, and it's been keeping it like perfect temperature um, our garage does not get super cold in the winter even when it is super cold outside so that is good perfect place to keep this thing so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the two buckets apart and I'm gonna try and show you down in the bottom bucket are the worms. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not. Can you see them moving around in there? They're down in the bottom bucket. Not great, but you know what? I don't know what I'm doing, so <laughs> that's gonna be my excuse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the top bucket, I'm gonna take the lid off, and because we're gonna sift this out, but we wanna keep the worms, I'm gonna dump the top bucket into the bottom bucket. And try not to spill it all over the ground. So once we get all the worms, once we start sifting, I can throw the worms back in their actual bucket. And that's where they'll stay. Now, I have been very anxious about the life in the health of the worms honestly um and that's part of the reason why i haven't quite uh sifted it because i'm worried that i'm gonna have a bunch of dead worms in here now i know that that's not true um i can see them every time i feed them i make sure i find them um, and so I do a pretty decent job of that, but it is still stressful. Um, as a person that stresses out about pretty much everything, um, it is stressful to have a bucket full of worms that you paid money for and you're worried about killing. So basically what I'm gonna do now, before I sift, is I'm gonna take this piece of cardboard, I'm gonna shove it down the bottom of the bucket, okay. And then I'm going to take this paper bag and I'm going to layer it on top. Okay. So this is what we have now. So hopefully the worms will have a tougher time getting through this into the bottom bucket. If they get in there, it's fine. But I just... Would prefer it if they weren't in there. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's what, that's where we're at. So now, I am actually going to go ahead and build the bucket to put them back in. So I can use this bucket to put my castings in. This is like a whole process that I'm trying to think through. Because I have my worms, but then I'll have my castings. But I don't have anywhere to put the castings. But I have to have them in... It's like a whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and build the new bucket for them to live in. And then we will sift them. So this is like half a brick of cocoa core that I had left over from the last time. That I rehydrated in filtered water. From like my refrigerator. And then I let that rehydrate and then I added a couple scoops of compost so it has like big hunks of dried leaves and stuff in it still which is fine um i don't have a ton of dried leaves yet the leaves here are just starting to fall off so they're not quite dead and dry yet but that's what i'm putting in here so i did a couple scoops of that and now i'm gonna take some of this stuff this is just that crinkly paper stuff. I got this when I ordered um, a couple flats of jars from Walmart. Um, I'm going to put that in there and then I'm going to put some of my shredded paper. You could also use leaves for this but like I said I don't have leaves right now so we're going to use shredded paper. Now obviously like once I get the worms in here and get them reestablished, I will have to feed them. Um, and I didn't bring anything out here to feed them right now, but I will feed them after they get back in their bucket. But I had enough to haul out here. I'm just gonna pour the rest of this in here. 
So there's my empty-ish bucket. That is what I'm going to sift my castings into. Yes, okay. So this is where the worms will go. I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row here. This is what I'm sifting into. This is what I'm sifting out of. Okay, we are ready to go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take my sifter, put it over a five gallon bucket. I'm gonna scoop out from my full bucket of castings and worms. And I'm basically just gonna sift this into my new bucket. And it's pretty wet, so I think what I'm gonna do is just use my hands to just like push it around. I don't really wanna like shake it too much because it's over the top of a five gallon bucket. Now I did just feed them three or four days ago. I fed them a banana. They love bananas. And I gave them some more shredded paper. And so I think that maybe next time I need to stop giving them shredded paper a few weeks before I sift. Look at this guy, a big boy. Because that's pretty much what I'm pulling out here right now is just like a lot of shredded paper. Okay, so I have my bucket sifted. Um, I did not get just a ton of castings off of that, but I got enough to do a few beds. Um, I think the problem is that I had too much liquid in the bucket. Um, everything was very sticky, not sticky, but wet, and it was sticking together. And I think that that might be the issue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I have them back in their bucket. I'm gonna take the rest of this packing paper and I am going to, some more shredded paper on top. I'm gonna put them back in here and just leave them, not give them any more liquid um, for a couple weeks. And then I will probably re-sift them and see if I can get more castings because everything was very uh, wet and kind of stuck together. But this is what I got. It's not, like I said, it's not a ton, but what I did get is beautiful and rich compost. So... I'm going to go top dress my garlic with this and my other raised beds. So that is how I'm sifting my worm castings, I guess. Um, if you are a more experienced worm farmer and you know more about what you're doing um, and you have any tips, let me know. Um, otherwise, I guess we're just gonna figure this out together. Um, 
this was not difficult and the worm farming itself is not difficult but I think I need to hone my uh, my method a little um, I think I need to give them less liquid um, empty their bottom bucket of liquid out more often and make sure they're not getting into that bottom bucket um, I think that's probably what I need to do so um, that is that's how we're gonna do it I'm gonna go top dress these beds wash my hands um, basically if you didn't know worm castings are worm poop so my hand is covered in worm poop um, but you know what whatever it's free compost for the garden essentially I'd have to buy the worms but eventually it'll be free compost um because they just eat my food scraps so that's what we're doing on this beautiful November 1st evening it has been gorgeous here all day it's been like in the 60s perfect weather to sift worms <laughs> so thank you so much for watching I hope you um learned something from this maybe I don't know together we'll figure it out so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one